Hola, muy buenas a todos. Aquí el Arito 9 continuamos en el mismo punto que lo dejamos en el anterior episodio cuando iba a guardar la partida que habéis visto ahí. Y vemos que ahí está Mira. Ya está bien, están en, en Sharilton. Después de todo lo que ocurrió en el anterior episodio, muy, muy interesante la historia. Mira salió herida gravemente. Pero por lo que veo, pues ya está recuperada ahí. Pero vamos a ver lo que sucede a partir de ahora. Do you remember what happened? Yes. I attacked Noctigal. And then... Thank goodness. Stay in bed. I'm gonna call the doctor. Doctor? What doctor? That's enough tests for today, young lady. She's stable and alert. I think she'll be fine for now. What happened to Jude and the others? Are they okay? Miss Elise is downstairs. Jude went into the city to look for Alvin. You must be <laughs> famished, Mila. Yes, you should eat what you can. You need to regain your strength. I'll order something hearty. Let's head downstairs. Oh, what's wrong? I can't move my legs. No puedo mover las piernas. Atención, ah, después de la explosión que tuvo ahí con el la, la, de esto, la, la, las grilletes esos que tenía en la pierna, bueno, la explosión, pues... Mila. La ha dejado inválida. Your legs. Yes. No tingling, no pain, no anything. <sighs> Jude, where's my sword? Don't be ridiculous. You have to rest. I have rested long enough. I must get to Fenmont. You're still going on about your mission? That's all over now. Don't you get it? What gives you the right to make that decision? Decision? Don't be stubborn. There is no choice here. You don't have any strength left. You can't even walk, let alone wield a sword. You have to accept reality. Jude, do you remember the people of Hamil? Huh? They were forced into a situation they didn't choose, and they didn't have the strength to fight against it. Well, yeah, maybe things would have turned out differently for them if they were stronger. So what is strength exactly? Is it something you wield to fend off attackers? Is it something you use to control the four great spirits? Is it something that lets you walk on your own two legs? It's none of those things. Not real strength. You just won't give up, will you? I can't give up. My mission won't let me. I must keep moving forward. Even if your body won't move at all? That's who I am. Crane está muerto. Oh, ¿Por qué ponía good eso? morning. Is something on your mind? It's just that a long time ago, my father healed a patient who had lost the use of his legs. Su padre había curado a alguien inválido. Yes, really. So I was thinking we could visit my hometown. Su ciudad natal, Lerón, la ciudad de Jut. Ahí estarán sus, sus padres. Si la llevan allí, pues podrían ayudarla a que recuperase el su movimiento en las piernas. Solo sé que no hay nada que pueda hacer para detenerte. Incluso si no puedes caminar, solo crawl away y get into trouble. Tú realmente eres. ¿Un buen trabajo? Sí, sí. Thank you. I'm in your hands. Right. 
We can reach Laurent by boat, so let's head to Sapstrath Sea Haven. Vale, pues hay que ir al puerto y dirigirnos al pueblo de Jude, que es Lerón. Giselle, you have my gratitude. And you have my hopes for a full recovery. Please take the utmost caution on your journey. I'm truly sorry we cannot accompany you. Queremos nosotros dos y Elise se quedará con ellos y alguien que pasa se va por ahí. She'll need your guidance. Yes. You're really leaving? Yeah. Take care, okay? You don't have to worry about being lonely anymore. Drissel and Rowan will keep you company. Elise queda de momento con Drissel y Rowan. Klein representa que ha muerto con el flechazo ese que recibió murió por eso antes pedía que Klein ha muerto. Pero Alvin no sabemos qué hará. Como eso siempre está para acá para allá para acá para allá estará con sus palomas mensajeras. <risa> Ah, míralo, ahí está. No sé qué hará Alvin ahora, pero bueno. Vale, ahora que hay que volver hacia el puerto, ¿no? Vale, perfecto, pues vamos a ir directamente para allá. Pero podemos ir por aquí, ¿no? Que por este camino no hemos tirado. Y vamos a ir por aquí. Primero vamos a ver la conversación esta. I'm eager to see what your hometown is like. It's just a normal little boondocks town. It did used to be a famous mine. Era Since you're human, you must have parents. Are they a lot like you? I don't know about that. Aren't you looking forward to seeing them? Hmm. My parents tend to prioritize work. We don't always get along. I've read about child-parent relationships. There's something called an Oedipus complex. I'm pretty sure that's not it. Ah, so <laughs> yours is more of the scheming, backstabbing sort of family? Exactly. Ah, la venga. What sort of books are you reading? Vamos hacia el puerto. Para llegar a Lero. Uy, ¿qué pasa aquí? Van a refugiarse y descansan por el camino. How did you become such an amazing cook? I can't even boil water without burning it. That's not true. Anybody can become a good cook with practice. Everyone has their own mission. So you're saying my mission is to cook for Mila Maxwell? <laughs> well, in my current state, I can't even do that. I can't make dinner. I can't even make a bed anymore. Don't... don't worry. I'll do that stuff for you from now on. I want to thank you. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Vale, pues después de esta conversación y han descansado, tienen que retomar el camino para el puerto. 
nos ha regalado un colgante mira muy bonito el que se hizo en la plaza de de Sharington ¡Hostia! ¡Qué porrezo! El caballo se ha pirado. Ya ahora tengo que luchar con Jude. Vamos allá. Vamos. Muy bien. Claro, como mira no puede, pues tengo que manejar a Jude. Así lo veis un poquillo también. Madre mía, el golpe que le ha dado el bicho ese. Es una pobre. Ahora tiene que llevar a cuestas. Hold tight. Madre mía, pues no se le va a hacer algo en el camino. Eh, que me quiere pillar otra vez el jabalí este. <risa> Are your legs okay? If they start to hurt, just say so. Thank you. I appreciate it. Está bien, amén. A ver, vale, el puerto está ahí enfrente. Antes de entrar al puerto, vamos a ver la conversación. Vale, me han pillado por detrás. Muy bien, ni que sí. Vamos. Ay. Maldito bicho. Vale. Joder. Vale. Bien. Ah, no me va a salir a la conversación. Ahora. Fighting alone really makes you realize how fortunate we were to fight by people like Rowan. I can't agree more. It isn't every day you get to ally with Ilbert the conductor. What's the reason behind his nickname? They say it's because he gains full control of the battlefield. He once crushed the battle was called the Priscilla Miracle. And it helped create the Rashigal we know today. I could tell he was no normal man, but I had no idea that he was such a famous tactician. It was such an incredible honor to fight beside a living human. Not a human being. To fight beside the Lord of Spirits himself. Hmm? Did nothing. Nothing at all. Huh? Yeah, well. Voy a llegar al puerto. Let me go check on the ship's schedule. I'll be right back. Ahí tiene la llave. Lady Mila, I finally caught up with you. Bueno, el que faltaba, el borde este. Ahí va. When I saw your face on the wanted posters, I knew I just had to find you right away. But what about your duty to protect Nia Kara? I begged the villagers to let me come to your aid. They were very understanding. You imbecile. That's not the point. Don't you realize? Vaya por Dios. Lady Mila, are you okay? Your, your legs. Mila, you, tell me what you've done to her. Ya está el tonto este. Stand down, Ivor. This wasn't Jude's fault. I brought this upon myself. But you wouldn't be in this predicament if I'd been by your side. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Handmaids are made, not appointed. One must dedicate his life to serving and protecting Lady Mila. It is an esteemed position for real men. Manly men. She may have commanded it. But clearly, it was a mistake to let an uncouth, unreliable, underhanded stranger like you serve her holy person. Now, come with me, Lady Mila. Wait! 
My father might be able to heal her legs. If what you say is true... I will be the one to take her to see him. I've had you pegged as a phony from the moment I laid eyes on you. Now know your place and be gone! You can accompany her if you like, but I'm coming too. Hmm. Ivor, stop this nonsense. Please, Lady Mila. Vale, quiere luchar conmigo, el tío tonto. Pues se te va a acabar el rollo. Sí, sí, sí. Vale, vale, vale. ¿Cuánta vida tiene? Va, muy poco. En un momento no me largo. No tiene otra sal. Ah, vale. Encima de esto es para curarme, pues. Me lo pongo a huevo. Que no te va a quedar, vamos. Mi gota de vida, eh, estate quieto. Ahí estamos. Ya hasta ya te tengo listo. Es muy fácil. Ahí estamos. Toma ya. Pretty good for a phony. Call me whatever you want. I just want to help Mila. How many times do I have to tell you? That's my job. Mira, arrastrándose. I don't have time for this. You two can duke it out as much as you want. I'm leaving. Yo me voy, dice. I'm sorry. If you still aren't satisfied, I'll fight you again later. Right now, we need to get moving. <laughs> Ivor, I have something very important to give you. It's crucial that no one else gets their hands on it. Consider it as precious as vale, le da él la llave. The lives of the four are counting on it. La llave de la lanza de Kresnik, ¿eh? I shall defend it to my last breath, Lady Mila. Ya la veremos si le podemos confiar bien lo que. Now, return to Mia Kara. What? Your duty is to protect Nia Kara. But Lady Mila, my place is with you. A ver si protege bien la llave, tonto. Hurry up and take her. But don't forget who's the real handmaid. This guy. Uh, sure thing. And I promise, I won't rest until Mila walks again. You got that right. Perfecto. Valerón desde el puerto de Saptra. Habrá que hablar con este, ¿no? Puerto de Lerón, sí. Todo listo, vámonos, venga. Aquí está el puerto de Lerón. Mira quién está ahí, el último de los personajes jugables. Ya veréis quién es. Hostia. Ah, Dios. Al agua. <ríe> Qué cara. Leia, ahí está. Una amiga de, de Jude. ¿Qué So tell me, who's your friend? I suppose that you know this girl. Uh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, how do I explain this? Leia, meet Mila. 
Hello, Mila. <gasps> hey, what's wrong with her legs? Run and get the doctor. Stat, this woman needs help. Right. Roger. Are you heading home? I'll come with you. Here, use this. Vale, ya no la podemos llevar. Pues estamos aquí en el Derón. Y es la del muelle y la cantera. Guardaré aquí. Ya hemos llegado a la ciudad natal de Yud. Tenemos que llevarla al médico. Y supongo que veremos a los padres de Yud, ya que ellos son los médicos. Aquí está el pobrecito. Es muy pequeñito, como veis, tampoco tiene mucha cosa. Pero bueno. Hay que ir aquí, ¿no? Ve a la clínica. Verón, clínica Mafish. La familia de Yuta aquí vive. Jude, how's the big city treating you? Do you like the capital? ¿Qué es esto? Esta la madre. Oh, you ready to see me now, doctor? I'm sorry, everyone. We have an urgent case here. You'll have to come back in the afternoon. Sorry, everybody. We'll catch you later. Promise! <laughs> You've really gotten into the swing of things here, Alea. Best nurse in town. <laughs> also the only nurse in town. But hey, you know how it is. Bring her in. Thank you. Ahí está el padre de Yud. Hello there, I'm Dr. Mathis. Please, just lie still. I'm Mila. Are you Jude's father? Yes. Can you flex your legs? No. I can barely feel anything below my waist. I see. Ellen, you can leave now. Go check on Jude. Oh, okay. I need to run a few tests. Please, bear with me for a bit longer. Was that Jude's mother? Yes. Jude's our only child. What exactly is your relationship with my son anyway? It's complicated. We're friends. I gave him a pendant as a token of our friendship. Friends, huh? Pardon my skepticism. You look much older than him. And you're a woman. Jude tells me you once healed a human who shared my... condition. Would you give me the same treatment? Possibly. It depends on how these tests come out. I see. Either way, you'll need to remain in the clinic for a while. How are you feeling? Fine. I still can't move my legs, of course, but otherwise no complaints. How are the test results? I think my husband... Dr. Mathis should speak to you directly about that. A ver qué pasa. May I ask you a question? Of course. How do you and my son know each other? <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry, it's just that your husband asked me the same question. I suppose this is what's known as parental concern. I get it now. You humans have so many admirable traits. We humans? Jude rescued me from a tough spot back in Fenmont. Because of his actions, he couldn't go back to the city. He's been traveling with me ever since. That sounds like Jude. He hasn't changed. What do you mean? Jude's always been too quick to help others, even when he was a boy. To his detriment, I take it? 
His friends teased him for it. He was Pobre Cidio. Yet he didn't stop. He'd come home all beaten up, but underneath the bruises, he'd still be smiling. What's a mother to do? So that's why you... Ellen, we're getting busy out here. You know this is the only clinic in town. Derek! You need to stop spoiling Jude. He's a man now. Coddle him and he'll just grow softer. Hmm. So this is also parental concern. Although... The funny thing is, he just stood up to me for the first time in his life. He ordered me to use an Asperixis on you. An Asperixis? Asperixis? It would cure me? Let me walk again? Perhaps you are a good influence on him. In his efforts to help you, he seems to have grown bolder. As a father, I'm pleased. But as a doctor, I'm afraid the treatment isn't an option, despite my son's persistence. I see. So that's your final decision. It is. I'm sorry. Very well. I'll just have to find some other way. No other way, no? I see. I'm glad you understand. The procedure itself is simple enough, but it's not like you'd regain mobility right away. Hmm? I'd need to apply spirit arts directly to your nervous system. You couldn't move a finger without screaming. The pain would be excruciating. Even in the best case scenario, it would take several months before your nerves adapt to the arts and you could move again. Why are you telling me this? We can't get the spirit fossils needed to run the device anymore. Even if we could, the spirit fossils will escape just as soon as you uncover them. It's a shame. The Asperixis might have cured you. Esos espíritu fósiles son necesarios para la spirit, la spirixis, ese cómo se llama el aparato ese. Pero la haría sufrir muchísimo a Mila en el sistema nervioso. Bueno, vamos a ver qué pasa ahora. Creo que Jude tiene el aparato ese ahí. ¿Qué estás haciendo? We can't let my dad hear us. Tiene las las pirixis ese. We're gonna use the aspirixis on you now. But your father just told me it was impossible. Leah, give me a hand. Lo van a hacer ellos sin que se cuenta su padre. Here, you'll want to lay down on your side. El aparato se coloca en la pierna, pero necesita el, el fósil, ¿no? No, nothing at all. My legs still won't budge either. Why isn't it working? I don't sense any mana in this stone. Your father said that an Asperixis needs a spirit fossil. Claro, y ese fósil no tiene mana ya, ¿no? Está consumido. Oh, so the special stone mentioned in the medical files is a spirit fossil. Your father also said the fossil has to be used immediately after it's recovered or loses its mana. Great. As if the procedure wasn't already tricky enough. Hold on. En la mina de Felgana. Como aquí hay muchas minas. Mila, it sounds like we need to take you out for some field medicine. That seems like a lot of work. You'll do that for me? Here. Thank you. Jude, can you help her into the wheelchair? What about you? I have to get stuff ready. I'll meet you at the edge of town. P. 
Perfecto. Vamos a salir fuera. Aquí hay un guardar muy majo. Pues voy a dejar aquí el gameplay, ¿vale? Espero que os haya gustado este episodio. Hemos llegado hasta Nerón, la ciudad natal de Yud, donde aquí hay mucho tema de las minas y tal y cual. Y como veis, para recuperar la movilidad de mira necesitamos ese espíritu, espíritu fósil que tenemos que recogerlo en la mina de Felgana para ponerlo en el aparato de Spirixis. Y así funcione. Así que bueno, espero que os haya gustado este episodio. Eso lo, eso lo veremos en el próximo vídeo. Y nada más, like y favorito si os gustó, como digo siempre. Y nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. Hasta luego.